Epsom salt is the nickname for magnesium sulfate. It was nicknamed after the town where it was first found in Epsom, England. For more than a hundred years, we have used Epsom salt to treat ailments such as swelling. Epsom salt can be applied to your garden as an inexpensive magnesium fertilizer. A magnesium deficiency in plants is usually seen as leaves are starting to yellow, leaves edges are starting to curl up, or the growth of the plant is stunted. Adding magnesium to your garden will allow your plants to absorb nutrients such as phosphorus and nitrogen. Peppers and tomatoes perform better with a magnesium amendment. At the beginning of the growing season, try broadcasting one cup of Epsom salt per 100 square feet of garden bed. In a spray bottle, add one tablespoon of Epsom salt per every gallon of water. Spray onto the plant leaves, apply one time per month, add any leftovers to the base of the plant. If peppers are not setting flower buds, which in turn become peppers, or buds are falling off, try spraying the leaves with the foliage spray. Always test your soil's pH to find out if it's an acidic soil, which is less than 7. When the soils are acidic or low in magnesium sulfate, applications of Epsom salt can be added to promote healthier plants. When soils are alkaline and if magnesium is highly available to the plants, adding Epsom salts is generally not necessary. Alkaline soils are usually in wetter environments. Examples would be Washington State, Central Africa, Southeast Asia, or most of Europe. Alkaline soils are usually in drier environments. Examples would be Northern Africa, Colorado, Arizona, or in Sudan. Whether you are in a wet or dry climate, a potted plant usually has non-native soil in the container and might need magnesium, so test your soil. To review, Epsom salt is a cheap organic garden amendment, can help solve leaf yellowing, curling, or poor growth, can help a pepper plant that will not set pepper buds, and can help the plant better absorb nutrition. Epsom salt is truly a shining star in the garden. Make sure to join us for the next part in this series so you can learn what to do next. See you in the garden. Don't forget to follow us or share or like our videos and help us build our channel.